It's time. It's time, Xbox. That's right, what's up? All right. You know we about to hit you with that what 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 fire bro all right give it a thumbs up thumbs up let's give this video a like right now you can do it bro all right the xbox has been revealed the playstation 5 has been revealed if you call that a reveal <laughs> but it looks like this generation xbox is going in with the advantage couple reasons why stay with me it's gonna be lit they have all the momentum right now it all started with the reveal trailer i don't know what playstation was thinking with this last um live gdc conference i get it it was for developers but if you know this is your first time revealing more information about your PlayStation 5, somebody should have said, maybe we shouldn't do this first. Let's do a trailer like this to get the fan base hyped. And this trailer back in December was perfect. It focused on games and then it transitioned to the power of the console. By just looking at it, the first thing everybody was like, whoa, this thing is about to be a beast. This reminds me of the Nintendo Switch reveal trailer. It was to the point, it was clear, it let gamers know this is it's called a Switch and you could switch. This trailer by Xbox was games and a powerful console. It was simple to the point. They didn't even have to say anything about the specs. And everybody on the internet was like, whoa, this thing is going to be powerful just by the design. They nailed the design of the console. A far cry from the Xbox One days. You know what this is? This is an introduction to ESPN on your Xbox. Who was buying a gaming console to watch ESPN? I mean, some people used it, but we primarily bought a gaming console to play games microsoft last generation sony had all the momentum even with the whole drm issue where um you couldn't trade in your xbox games um they weren't allowing trading of used games you know what sony did sony came out with a trailer and trolled them how to trade your games step one sharing the game watch this booyah <laughs> and that's it they trolled them hard last gen different is different right now bro sony they struggled real bad instead of microsoft getting trolled they are now trolling this is what sony revealed about the playstation 5 an Atari 2600 image and you know what Xbox did that same day they tweeted out power your dreams coming Thanksgiving 2020 that was a major troll bro they're like we know y'all want a real console Thanksgiving Xbox Series X they didn't even just stop there they also tweeted out when there was a whole issue of um, PlayStation 4 not being clear on backwards compatibility, um, you're only going to be able to um, bring certain PlayStation 4 games. You know what Xbox tweeted out? 
bring your favorite games with you to Xbox Series X. Simply connect your existing external USB hard drive to Xbox Series X and your entire li entire library is instantly accessible. Four generation of Xbox games you'll be able to play from launch on the Xbox Series X where Sony's whenever you have to come back out with another statement to clarify your previous statement you know you messing up Sony did clarify that it's gonna be more than just a hundred select PlayStation 4 games but here's the thing they're not going to have smart delivery what is smart delivery you guys ask it is let's say you want to buy Halo 5 you want to you you didn't you bought a PlayStation 4 last generation you skipped on on Xbox one you got your brand new Xbox Series X you know what I'm gonna try Halo 5 you put it into your you um boot up Halo 5 on your Xbox Series X it's gonna automatically run at a higher resolution more than likely 4k <coughs> higher frame rate than other Xbox version it the game will automatically the Xbox Series X console will automatically um, upgrade the game for you that's what smart delivery is sort of like a PC where uh, the PC knows what kind of graphics card you have and already know bam your great your game can run at optimal setting at, at highest highest setting that's what smart delivery is Sony so far the PlayStation 5 isn't gonna have that across the board for all their games I remember the PlayStation 4 days PlayStation 4 the beginning of the launch of the PlayStation 4 it was just remasters and remakes from last generation GTA remastered Last of Us 2 remastered you were buying the same $60 game but now with higher resolution and better frame rate that's gonna be done for free on the Xbox Series X and so um, Xbox they're starting off great they could they can have a better 2020 year the big question is whether or not well no Microsoft has come out and said holiday 2020 they're still I mean um, they they were more specific they said Thanksgiving <coughs> I think they later backtracked on that tweet somebody probably jumped the gun but where there's smoke, there's fire. It's gonna be right around Black Friday where the console launch to maximize on those sales. And so, Microsoft starting off on the right foot. Also, some more great um, um, news coming out of Xbox land. Project X Cloud is now in beta testing for PC. And so you'll be able to use Project X Cloud that means you could stream your Xbox games straight to your PC. Say you're on someone's PC, your neighbor's PC, you're out traveling, and you want a game. As long as you have Windows 10, you'll be able to stream from your PC. It's in beta right now, so only select a few has access to it, but that's what's coming. I'm telling you, Microsoft, <coughs> they're going to be attacking on multiple fronts. Of course, they still have the console gaming. They're also going to be pushing xCloud streaming, which I think is going to catch up and it's going to become popular. Um, and PC. If you just have a PC, you can still download games and just play. So they, they just want you in their ecosystem to have your um, your gamer tag connected. That's what they want to do. All right, dudes. Y'all probably asking too, why is Banjo all um, in this? Uh, all these Banjo gifts? I tell you this. I'm going to end it on this, this video on this. It all comes down to the games at the end of the day. Microsoft has invested heavily in studios for next generation. So I'm excited this either to see what games we're going to be able to play on our brand new Xbox Series X. One game, um, Xbox. Y'all got to do this, man. Banjo. I'm not saying that launch, but sometime this generation, y'all need to bring back Banjo. We got y'all put them in Super Smash Brothers. Great advertising, a great move, but a full out Banjo Kazooie game, I think, needs to happen um, this generation. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, 
click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things game, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces